Hey everybody, so today we're going to work a bit on balance. So whenever you're ready, start standing up today. Once you're standing up, let's meet to the front edge of your mat and standing here, back hip distance apart, feet are hip distance apart, feet parallel. Press your feet into the ground, stand up tall, chest lifting proud. Relax arms to your side, inhale shoulders to ears, exhale roll the shoulders back and down. Now stay here for a little bit, have your fingers spread open, have your fingers reach down to the ground. You should feel your toes press to the floor. You should feel the thighs push back a bit, a little squeeze to the butt, a little pull in with the belly, a nice lift to the chest, a slight squeeze to the upper back. Now try to feel that happening. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, press your hands back down to the sides. And two more times, inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, press your arms to your sides. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, press your arms to the sides. And last time, inhale, reach up. This time, clasp your hands, release index fingers. Heart up, inhale, exhale, heart up and back. Stay, squeeze your butt as you push your hips forward a bit. Still a little pull in with the belly. A nice squeeze to the upper back, lift up your chest. Inhale, come up, exhale, dive forward, coming down. Halfway up, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over, treadies. Now bend your knees and lift your right leg behind you. Flex the right foot and turn the toes and knee to point down. Awesome, so you're internally rotating your right, rotating your right thigh. Stay here, stay. Inhale, exhale, slowly step back to a lunge. Bend that left knee, hold for a little bit. Awesome, now keep rotating your right thigh in rotate your left thigh in as well hold inhale scoop your arms forward up exhale heart up and back a little back bend stay here stay keep lifting up your chest relax the shoulders away from ears awesome keep the thighs rotating in both of them towards the middle keep your chest lifting up a little pulling with the belly just so you don't hurt your lower back good now from here keep your arms up inhale Exhale, step the back foot forward, all the way forward to stand again. Inhale here, exhale, fold over, coming down. Halfway up, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over, ready. Inhale, arms to the ceiling, come up, relax the shoulders, exhale, hands to side. Inhale, reach up, clasp hands, release index fingers. Heart up, inhale, exhale, heart up and back, stay. Squeeze the butt hips forward, little pull in with the belly, chest up, squeeze upper back. Inhale, rise, exhale, fold forward, coming down. Halfway up, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over, ready. Now lift up your left leg high as it goes. Keep the toes and knee pointing down. Keep that left leg lifted, just feel that weight, hold. Inhale, exhale, gently, stepping back to a lunge. Keep the back knee up as you can. Inhale, scoop arms forward up. Exhale, heart up and back, a little back bend. Keep that left thigh rotating in. Right thigh rotating in towards the midline, shoulders away from ears. Keeping tall, feeling strong with the legs, keeping control with the rotations of the thighs. Good. One more inhale. Exhale, step your back foot forward, back foot forward to stand. Inhale, exhale, fold forward, coming down. Halfway up as you inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over, treadies. Now bend both knees, you can walk. Or try to jump back like a burpee for a chaturanga. Good. You can flow into your vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome. Find your downward dog whenever you are ready. Right leg comes up. Inhale, flex the right foot. Push the heel back strongly. Again, turn the right thigh inward so the knee and toes point down. Hold. One more inhale. Exhale, step foot between the hands. Keep the back knee up if you can. Lower the back knee if you need to. Left hand on floor, right hand to sky. Turn right. Good, now keep that top hand reaching up, shoulders away from your ears. Good, squeeze your right thigh to your chest. Pull your belly in firm, stay. Great, reaching the top hand up. Make sure you're breathing. Great, now inhale, both hands down. Exhale, step forward to a fold. Halfway up, inhale, flat back like table. Exhale, fold over, to release. Inhale, arms to the ceiling, come up, come up. Relax, shoulders, exhale, hands to side. 
Again, inhale, reach arms up, clasp hands, release index fingers. Heart up, inhale, exhale, heart up and back. Hips a little forward, pull in the belly a little, heart up to the sky. Inhale up, exhale, fold forward, coming down. Halfway up, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over, readies. Bend your knees, right foot back, right foot back. Keep the knee up or lower it down, that's your choice. Right hand on the floor, left hand to the sky, turn left. Let's keep that top arm up, keep the shoulders away from your ears. Now make sure that bottom hand is pressing to the floor, wrist under the shoulder. Now from here, maybe stay, maybe step your left foot all the way back or halfway back for a side plank, awesome. Again, you can step the front foot, the left foot halfway back or stack the legs, stagger the feet, whatever feels better. Push down with your bottom hand, pull your belly in, hold and flex the feet, hold. One more inhale, exhale, hands to floor, find plank. And stay here, child's pose or vinyasa, your choice. Downward dog if you would like. Very good. Downward dog as you're ready. Left leg up as you inhale, flex foot, push back. Turn the toes and knee to point down. Keep the arms straight and strong. Exhale, step foot between the hands. Keep your back knee up if you can or lower the back knee down as needed. Awesome, right hand on the floor, left hand to the sky. Turn left, turn left. Now keep the top hand reaching up, push down with that bottom hand. You know we're gonna do a side plank later, so get used to that bottom hand working. Inhale, exhale, hands to the floor, step forward, forward, fold. Halfway up, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over, release. Inhale, arms to ceiling, come up, relax, shoulders, exhale, hands to side. Inhale, reach up, clasp hands, release the next fingers. Heart up, inhale, exhale, heart up and back, stay. Little push forward with hips, lifting chest higher and higher. Inhale up, exhale, dive forward, coming down. Halfway up, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over, ready. Bend knees, left foot back. Left foot back, keep the knee up if you can. Maybe lower the knee if you need to. Left hand to floor, right hand to sky, turn right. Good, now reach up with the top hand. Make sure the shoulders stay away from ears. Squeeze your upper back so the shoulders stay strong, stay in place. Now, a lot of options. If your back knee is down, maybe step the right foot all the way back, modified side plank. If the bottom leg is straight, you can step your front foot halfway back or all the way back for full plank. Maybe stagger the feet if you prefer, whatever works the best. Push down with your bottom hand. Belly is firm, squeeze the upper back. Maybe look up to top hand if you wanna challenge your balance. One more inhale. Exhale, hands to floor for plank. You can take a vinyasa, go to downward dog or child's pose, your choice. Great, wherever you are, just make sure you're breathing. No rush at all. Downward dog whenever you're ready. Right leg up, inhale, flex the right foot, push the heel back strongly. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Spin your back heel down, open up your arms, warrior two. Awesome. Now make sure back foot parallel, back edge of mat, front toes pointing forward. The right thigh rotates out this time, so you feel the hip open, you feel the right hip stretch out a little. Big inhale here, exhale forearm to thigh, top hand overhead, extended side angle. Now stay your exhale bottom hand, touch your ankle, maybe the floor or a block behind your leg if you have one. Now lean back so the chest can open, Pull your belly in though so you don't arch your back, so you keep yourself stable. Squeeze your upper back to help the chest stay open to set the shoulders in place. Inhale, straight legs, straight legs, open arms, triangle. Bottom hand touch shin, ankle maybe the floor or block behind leg, top hand reach up to sky. Again, squeeze upper back, pull belly in, legs are straight and breathe. Now, if you want to stay here, normal triangle, if you want to try, maybe look to the front foot. Step the back foot in, halfway. Awesome. Now, from here, right hand about 12 inches forward or more, about uh, to the pinky toe side of your right foot. Lift up the back leg as you're ready. Now, remember, the right hand is to the pinky toe side, not directly in front. 
back leg straight and strong can be low that's okay can be all the way up now your top hand can go to the hip if you need that or keep it up to the sky whatever works the best now we're here for a little bit if you want to try keep the belly firm maybe right hand lifting off the ground awesome wherever you are keep your belly very firm top hand reaching up to the sky if you can just a little longer try to stay great give me one more big inhale now gently bend the knees exhale step down triangle again exhale frame the front foot step back downward facing dog stay child's pose or vinyasa your choice <clears throat> find your downward dog as you're ready left leg up as you inhale flex the left foot push the heel back strongly exhale step your foot between your hands spin your back heel down let's open up your arms warrior two arms reaching far and away good inhale exhale forearm to thigh top hand overhead extended side angle shoulders away from ears so your exhale bottom hand ankle or floor maybe block behind leg Good, now squeeze your upper back a smidge, pull your belly in a lot. Reach the top arm forward, maybe look up to ceiling. Hold and breathe. Press the feet. Inhale, straight legs, straight legs, open your arms, triangle. Bottom hand, shin, ankle, maybe the floor block behind leg. Top hand reaching up. Squeeze your upper back, pull the belly in, now straight. Awesome, keeping strong with the belly. Keeping strong with the upper back, feel wide and open, straight. Again, your choice to stay in your triangle. If you want to try, exhale, look to the front foot. Step your back foot in halfway. Now let's bring your left hand about 12 inches forward or so. Pinky toe side, back leg up, back leg up as best you can, half moon. The gaze is to the floor for now to help you with your balance. Now pull your belly in to keep that torso stable. If you need to, top hand can go to hip. Maybe harder, maybe lift up your left hand off the ground. We're here for a moment. Keep the back leg straight and strong. Keep your belly firm, make sure you're breathing. Stay here a little longer, half moon. Awesome. Now gently bend the knees, exhale, step back to your triangle again. Exhale, step or frame your front foot, step back, downward facing dog. Very good. Stay child's pose or vinyasa. Your vinyasa, you can skip it whenever you need to. Opt for the rest when you need to rest. Whatever works the best. Find your downward dog as you're ready. Right leg up as you inhale. Flex the right foot, push the heel back strong. Exhale, knee to your chest. Hover forward like a plank. Now don't just let your knee sag. Pick it up to your chest. Exhale, kick back. Inhale, kick back again. Exhale, knee to chest. Hover forward. Belly is firm. Push the floor away again. Pick up that knee. Inhale, push back. Last time, exhale, knee to chest. Now hover and stay. A little curl to the spine so you can really bring that knee into the chest. Your belly is firm. A little longer. Exhale, step foot between hands. Spin your back heel down about 45 degrees. Coming up, hands to your hips, warrior one stance. Now turn your chest and the hips to face the front. Heart up, inhale, exhale, heart up and back, stay. Maybe clasp your hands behind you. Shoulder is back and down, squeeze your upper back. Lift up your chest, now stay here, stay. Keep the back leg straight and strong, get a nice bend to the front knee. Squeeze your upper back, make sure the chest is lifting actively. Breathe. Press into your feet. Inhale, straighten your legs. Straighten your legs. Exhale, bowing forward. Straight legs for pyramid. Either knuckles to the sky or hands to the hips. Hold to the shin, the ankle, the floor, or a block. Now, same as the beginning, roll the thighs in, both of them. Roll the thighs to your midsection, the middle, and that's going to keep your hips squared. If you think you need a bigger stretch, hands to the floor. Fold yourself a little more. Keep that right leg straight. Feel that right hamstring open. Maybe walk your hands back. Fold yourself a little more. We're here for a while. Make sure you can breathe. You can stay. 
Very good. Now pressing into feet, inhale, start to come up. Bring your hands to your heart center. Step your back foot in halfway. Now from here, belly is firm, lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, let's bring your heart forward for a warrior three. Your back leg lifts up, up to hip height or a little lower, whatever works best. Now squeeze that left butt cheek that's gonna elevate your leg. Keep the toes and knee pointing down so your hips stay squared to ground. Maybe arms reach forward. Make sure to really reach so the arms feel light. Gaze to the ground, belly is firm, keeps you stable, secure. Hold here for a moment. Again, breathing, trying to stay. Very gently, inhale, exhale, bend the knees to step back, and hands to floor, downward facing dog again. Stay child's pose or vinyasa, your choice. Downward dog, let's try the other side. Left leg up, inhale, flex foot, push back. Exhale, knee to chest, hover forward. Pick up the knee, push the floor away. Ex inhale, push back. <laughs> Exhale, knee to chest, hover forward, straighten, breathing, engage the belly. Inhale, push back. Last time, exhale, knee to chest, now hover, now stay, push the floor away, pick up the knee, pull the belly in. Exhale, step foot between hands. Spin back, heel down about 45 degrees. Come up, hands to hips for your one stance. Chest and hips turn to face forward. Heart up, inhale, exhale, heart up and back, stay. Maybe clasp hands behind. Shoulders down and back, squeeze upper back, lift up chest. Now make sure to breathe. Lifting chest proud. Rotate both thighs in so the hips stay facing forward. Inhale, straight legs, straight legs. Exhale, bow forward, bow forward, straight legs, pyramid. Knuckles to sky, your hands touch hips. Maybe hold to shin, ankle, floor, or block your choice. Now again, thighs roll in. Keep the hips squared to front. If you want to, hands frame the front foot. Fold yourself more. Maybe walk your hands back. Fold a little bit more. And stay here. Feel that left hamstring. Breathe. A little longer. Kind of use this as a break. Not much work. Just hanging over your leg. Very good. Push your feet. Inhale, start to come up. The hands see your heart. Step your back foot in halfway. Now bend your front knee a little. Heart up, inhale, exhale. Shift your heart forward for warrior three. Again, squeeze that right butt cheek. Use that right butt cheek to lift up the back leg. Toes and knee point down, belly is firm. Maybe reach your arms forward, gaze to ground. Stare at the floor, something not moving on the floor. Make sure you're breathing. Back leg straight and strong. Feel that heel push away. Awesome. One more inhale, now slowly. Exhale, bend the knees to lunge back. Hands to floor, downward facing dog. Stay child's pose or vinyasa. Make sure to take breaks as you need to. Awesome. Downward dog as you're ready. Right leg up when you inhale. Flex right foot. Push the heel back strong. Exhale. Bend your right knee. Stack up the hips like peeing dog. Knee up. Heel left. Right shoulder pressing down. Hold. Knee going higher. Heel pushing left. Stay. Inhale. Straighten the right leg behind you. Exhale. Step foot outside of your hands. Help your foot outside of the hands. Lower your back knee for lizard. Awesome. Now you want your front knee on top of your ankle and your ankle in line with your wrists. Stay here, exhale, lower to your forearms. You can use the floor, a block or something else to keep you elevated. Maybe tuck the back toes, lift up the back knee, feels heavier on the right hip, on the legs. Maybe flex your right foot, activate that right ankle and rotate the right thigh out gives your thigh a bit of rotation maybe push the right thigh open with the right hand gives the lower back a bit of release hold here for a moment breathe keep breathing stay 
Now inhale both hands to the floor. Lift up your chest. Exhale, let's step forward to a squat. Here for just a little bit. Awesome. Now while you're in your squat, you can keep your hands to the floor or bring their, the hands to the heart. Lifting chest, shoulders away from ears. Now press those thighs open with your arms, with your elbows. Breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Feet are parallel. Lift your butt up in here. Exhale, fold over your legs. Halfway up as you inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over to release. Now stay there, just bend your knees. Relax, arms, head and back. Inhale, roll up slow. Take your time. Vertebra, five vertebra. Slowly your head up. Very fast. Good, once you're up, we're gonna try another balance. We're starting with tree. Now, feet are hip distance. Hands to hips or hands to heart. Turn the right knee out to side. Step your heel to your left ankle. Stay here if you want to. Maybe step foot up the leg under the knee or above your knee, your preference, your choice. Now foot pushing to leg, chest lifting up, belly is firm, maybe arms come up to the ceiling. Relax the shoulders away from ears. Now stay there, stay there, make sure to breathe. Awesome. Now go in further if you want to. Turn your right knee forward, lift the right foot off the leg. Inhale, flex foot. Exhale, kick it back, find your warrior three. Awesome, now once you find your warrior three, you can keep your arms long or bring the hands to your heart. That's your choice, that's your option. Stay. Good, now stare at the ground if you want to. Left hand, left hand to the ground, right hand up. Turn your right toes to the right, right knee to the right. Awesome, and you're gonna come into your half moon. Awesome, gaze to ground. If you want to touch the floor or keep that left hand hovering, whatever works best, belly is firm wherever you are. One more inhale. Exhale, step the feet together to fold. Halfway up as you inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over, ready. Now walk yourself to the front of your mat first, bending knees, hands to floor. Walk or jump back like a burpee, chaturanga. Take a vinyasa child's pose or downward facing dog, your choice. We'll do everything, other side. Downward dog as you're ready. Left leg up, inhale, flex foot, push back. Exhale, bend left knee, stack hips like peeing dog. Knee up, heel right, left shoulder down straight. Inhale, straighten left leg. Exhale, step foot outside of hands. Lower back knee for a second to adjust yourself. Lizard, stay with straight arms or lower to forearms. Floor block, make sure front knee on top of ankle. Maybe tuck back toes, lift up back knee. Flex left foot, roll left thigh out. If you'd like, push the left thigh open with the left hand. Now try to turn the chest to the ceiling if you're pushing the thigh away. Make sure you are breathing. Please stay here. Please stay. Very good. Now whenever you're ready, both hands press to floor. Lift chest in here. Exhale, step forward to a squat. Awesome. Find your squat for you. Hands to floor or hands to heart. Now make sure you're not leaning forward. You want to sit up tall as best as you can. Awesome, get your butt low, get your hips wide, get your chest lifted, shoulders away from ears, neck long. Hold. One more inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor, have the feet parallel. Lift the butt up, inhale, exhale, fold over your legs. Halfway up, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over, ready. Bend your knees, relax arms, head and neck. Inhale, roll up, slow and steady. Taking your time, very slowly, head up, very last. Good, once you're all the way up, come in, in, coming into your tree, feel free to shake out the legs, the arms, hands to hips or hands to heart. Turn your left knee out to side, heel to your right ankle. Stay down or step foot up leg under your knee or above your knee, that's your choice. Now you're trying to keep the hip wide as best you can. <laughs> and plant that right foot firmly to the floor, the bottom foot. Belly is firm, chest lifted, maybe arms come up to ceiling. Relax the shoulders away from ears. Stay breathe. Awesome, stay put if you'd like to, or turn the left knee forward, flex the left foot, inhale, 
exhale, kick back, kick back, warrior three. Back leg straight and strong, try to commit. Push your heel back, keep the belly firm, stare at the ground, hold on. Little longer, stay, come out, or right hand, right hand towards the ground, touch or not. Left hand to sky for half moon. Good, remember that right hand is closer to the pinky toe side rather than directly in front of your foot. Keep the back leg straight and strong. Pull in the belly, the belly very firm <laughs> and stare at the ground. Give me two more seconds here. One more inhale. Exhale, step the feet together. Fold over your legs. Halfway up, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over, ready. Walk to the front of your mat if you're not there. Bend knees, hands to floor. Last time, walk or jump back, chaturanga. One last vinyasa, or go straight to your child's pose. Your choice. After your vinyasa, just find your child's pose for a few moments. This is your chance to drink, wipe down whatever you need right now. Rest. Very good. Now when you're ready, inhale, press up to seated. Have the legs come in front of you, bend knees and lie down on your back. Once you lie down, you're gonna keep your knees bent, your feet flat to floor. Separate your feet about hip distance apart, keep your feet parallel. Now have your hands next to your hips so your palms face up, look up to the ceiling. Inhale, squeeze the butt firm, exhale, push the hips up, bridge. Maybe tuck shoulders under clasp hands, press the hands to the floor. Now squeeze your butt, thighs squeeze together. Try to lift the chest higher. Now your thighs don't have to touch, you're just squeezing them together so the hips don't go wild, the hips don't just open and splay out. One more inhale, squeeze the butt a little higher. Exhale, unclasp your hands and roll the spine down to the ground, come down to rest. Take a second, breathe. Very good. Now do bridge again if you want to, or come with me, upward facing bow. That's hands by ears, elbows are bent, fingers point to shoulders. Either or, inhale, squeeze your butt firm, exhale, push it up high. Bridge or upward facing bow. Whichever one you're choosing, make sure your butt is squeezing firmly, the thighs squeeze towards one another. Press down with your palms, your fingertips, and your upward bow. Press down with your shoulders if you're in bridge. Make sure your throat is open. Make sure you can breathe one more. Inhale, squeeze up higher. Exhale, slowly unclasp. Slowly roll back down to the ground. Rest, relax, take a moment. Once you're down, keep your knees bent. Separate your feet wide as mat. Windshield wiper the knees left and right. A nice way to just release the back. Make sure you feel a slight tug to the lower back every sway. And come back center. Exhale, hug knees to chest, forehead to knees, chin to chest. Rock forward and back. And rock up to seated, come up. Once you're up, have the right leg straight in front of you, left foot, inner thigh. Take the flesh from the bent leg, then the straight leg. Shoulders back and down, fingers to side, flex right foot. Lift up the chest, inhale. Exhale, bow the heart forward to fold. Hold to your leg wherever you can. Or the ball of your foot, if that's comfortable. And give the ball of your foot a slight tug back and down. Now you're doing that to encourage your foot to stay flex. If your forehead can touch the leg, maybe forehead to the floor, inside of leg. If you need just a smidge more space to fold. Stay breathe. And inhale, coming up. Bent knee, left foot, step it to the inside or across your straight leg. Your front leg can stay straight or bend it in. Make sure both butt cheeks anchor to the ground. Left hand behind, right hand up, inhale, exhale, turn left. Hook elbow to thigh or hug thigh with arm. Shoulders down and back, push with back and lift chest. Belly expands, inhale, exhale, pull your belly in as you turn. Make sure you're breathing. Use the front arm to help you keep turning. Inhale, unwind. Release the legs in front, shake them a bit if you need. 
left leg straight, right foot goes in. Flush from the bent leg, then the straight leg, shoulders back and down, fingers side, heart up in here. Exhale, heart forward, far as you go. Touch to the leg or wherever you can here. Maybe ball of foot. Give the ball of the foot a slight tug back and down. Maybe if the forehead can touch the leg, maybe try forehead inside and leg to floor. Only if you need that extra space to fold. Feel that left hamstring as long as you feel that you're in the perfect place. Please stay. Inhale, coming back up, bend knee, right foot, step inside or across straight leg. Front leg straight or bend it in, right hand behind, left hand up in here, exhale, turn right, tuck elbow to thigh, or hold the thigh with arm. Shoulders back and down, push with the back hand, lifting the chest, front arm turning you, back hand lifting you, keep your breath going, try to keep on turning. And inhale, rewind back and shake out the legs in front of you. And from here, just come to a comfortable seat, legs straight or crossed. Now sit yourself tall, shoulders up, inhale, exhale, roll them back and down. And inhale, lift the arms up to the sky, hands meet, exhale, hands in front of face. Let them land to your heart center. Give me one more big inhale here. Exhale, bow chin towards chest. The light within me bows down to the light within you. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. My name is Marcus. If you have any questions or concerns, remember to just comment right down below. If you like the video, please remember to hit like, subscribe, share the video if you can. Also, if you would like to help out the channel, please remember to check out the description below and see how you can help us out. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.